a few days ago you spoke about the spine being the physical, emotional, and spiritual growth center. Can you talk to us a little bit about that? The spine, <clears throat> we call it Merudhanda. Merudhanda means uh, it is the axis of the universe. A human being <clears throat> can live just as a biological entity or he can transform himself into such a thing, he's almost like the center of the universe. So spine is one dimension of you which determines which direction you go, how your spine is functioning, how the energies in your spine are functioning right now determines almost everything about where you go. Within the spine, if you know the physical construction of the spine, you would know there are two holes on either side of the spine, which is like a conduit pipe for all the nerves to pass. This is the Ida and the Pingala, the right and the left channels, which represents the dualities of the creation which are connected to two parts of the brain today, the medical science also is identifying left brain and right brain and whatever. This is Ida and Pingala. In the Far Eastern terms they call it Yin and Yang or in traditional Hindu terms they call it Shiva and Shakti. It's called by various names, fundamentally the two dualities of the existence which is the basis of the physical reality. Beyond this, there is a central space, it's an empty space flowing through. In the spinal cord, there is an empty space. This is the Sushumna. Now, bringing a balance between these two will establish you well in this life. It will make you effective in the world. It will make you handle life aspects well. But if your energies enter into Sushumna and in Sushumna, you can bring various kinds of uh, qualities into Sushumna. Fundamentally, Sushumna is attributeless. It has no quality of its own. It is like empty space. Empty space is there, you can create anything you want, isn't it? So, once en energy is entered into Sushumna, we say you will attain to Vairagya. Vairagya means Raga means color, Vairag means no color. No color means you have become transparent. If you have become transparent, the advantage of being transparent is, right now if what's behind me is red, I turn red too. <laughs> if what's behind me is blue, I turn blue too. If what's behind me is yellow, I turn blue, yellow too. Yes? Unprejudiced. Wherever you are, you become a part of that, but nothing sticks to you. Anywhere you go, if you are among red people, you can be totally red, but the redness doesn't stick, you for a, stick to you for a moment. You are red because you are transparent. You are among green people, you are totally green, but the greenness does not stick to you either. Wherever you go, you become that but nothing sticks to you. Only if you are like this, only if you are in a state of Vairag, then you will dare to explore all dimensions of life when you live here. If any color sticks to you, then if you are… if red has stuck to you, you will resist going into the green. If green has stuck to you, you will resist going into the blue. Whatever sticks to you, you will resist going into the next one because you develop this prejudice of this is right, this is wrong, this is okay, that is not okay, it will restrict the flow of life. So all this mechanism is fundamentally built into the spine, not in the brain, it is in the spine. If you manipulate the spine in a certain way, the very way your mind and the brain functions can be greatly altered. I should not be saying all these things. I can blow your head off just by touching your spine, you know, really. 
I can just touch your spine and have you, you know, my brain going into a real tizzy because spine is the root. So when you do the Kriya or when you generally in your life, except for sleeping postures, it's good to keep the spine erect. That itself will do many things to you, many things.